Around the world, about a billion tyres are discarded every year and nearly half go directly into landfill. Not anymore, thanks to a scientific breakthrough by Australian professor Vina Sahijwala in partnership with One Steel. This is the first time in the world we've been able to use rubber tyres to partially replace some of the coking coal to carry out the high temperature chemical reactions that take place inside a steel making furnace. One Steel took the technology out of the lab and into the commercial domain. It's been using tyres to make steel for the past 12 months with the technique used in two thirds of total output. They act as a substitute for coking coal, cutting use of the fossil fuel by 10%. At the same time, the steelmaker cut electricity by 3% and increased productivity by the same amount. It's a win from, uh, from an operational point of view and it's a win from an environmental point of view. One Steel's now talking to American steel producers about on-selling the technology. Our first approach was to ensure that we could use it commercially in a successful way in our own operations, which is really what the first 12 months of that work is, has been. But uh, since that time, we have uh, started to develop uh, opportunities to export that technology uh, in an international sense. Some industries have already been using old rubber tyres to generate energy, but it's no different to burning them and it's high in emissions. What One Steel's been doing is reacting the tyres with liquids in the furnace using all the elements and what little waste products there are, such as sulphur and zinc, are captured during the process. This year, the steelmaker has used about 300,000 old tyres. These are some huge quantities uh, and that's of course uh, for uh, a steel company in Australia. So you can only just imagine that globally the impact that this could have. In this case, one man's trash really is another man's treasure.